Hello guys, welcome back. Um, obviously if you've watched part 1 already, thank you very much. Um, but here is the M203 again. So you have, obviously like I said yesterday, you have the M203 thing there. A little grenade with some eyes. And it looks overall quite similar to the real thing. You have the lever there that you'd press and you'd push the, I call it a slide, open. And then you'd stick your... 40 millimeter grenade in there if it was the real thing you put your 40 millimeter grenade in and you'd pull this back and it would stay there however this one as i've already shown yesterday works like a shotgun so basically you pull this back and push it forward and then you pull the trigger and it clicks and i'm not going to do that again because i don't want to keep dry firing it as i said you've got your little window there you're feeding your gel balls or your bbs and then obviously you start on there quickly obviously they come out of there and there's nothing in it at the minute and nor did I cock it properly. I think I just proved it. Um, I'm quickly going to show you the things that you get with it. So you get your other side to the um, here, obviously, to mount it onto a weapon rail, and whatever. And obviously, it goes there, and then in here, you've got your screws or whatever you want to call them. So obviously, screw it onto your gun. So I'll quickly show you them now. So obviously, like I say, you get the launcher and the other bracket, we'll call it a bracket. Um, and here, you've got these two little screw things. Now they have a bit on for an Allen key, and they don't come with an Allen key, but I do have, luckily I have one for an air rifle that fits. Can you guys see that? Can you? So... You get two of those. You get two little nuts. And there's number two. And then two of these whoop, little things that tighten, obviously, them on. So that's that. That's what you get with it. Right, so we're going to fit it to the M4. I've already given a teaser picture to a couple of people, but I haven't put this on social media. Now, I was worried, like I say, I've already attached it to this before, but I want to do, I want to take it off again for this video, just so I can quickly tell you all that. I was worried that it wouldn't fit on, because this part of my bottom rail snapped off, with it only being, obviously, plastic, ABS, whatever. Um, it didn't come off very easily but I dropped this a few times and I banged it on stuff and been quite rough with it and uh, this bit of the rail came off so I was kind of worried that it wouldn't fit onto here because this is what I wanted it for um, this actually did take almost a year to arrive it was ordered before Christmas last year and it only arrived the other day um, that's due to mail um, problems and high demand and stuff so it finally arrived um, which we were quite surprised about because I'm also still waiting for another package to arrive that I ordered before Christmas last year um, not a package for airsoft or anything it was a package for my mum a present for Christmas actually that never arrived which I was obviously disappointed about but anyway move on from that I was like I said I was worried that it wouldn't fit on because I'm missing part of the rail thankfully it does so we're going to pause right there and we'll come back when it's on the rifle. Right, so we're back. We've got the grenade launch fitted. Um, it's on there. Obviously I can keep the sling on there because this sling loop comes out of the way. So, yeah. It's on there. I'm going to quickly give a not a demonstration of the fine, but some advice of the real steel versions and stuff. So we're going to pause right there. Right, so basically, what I wanted to say is, some of you may ask, you've probably seen in video games though, some of you may ask how you fire this, because it sure looks silly firing it like this. Well, basically, when you put a magazine in, your magazine becomes the grip. You fire it like this. 
some people will tell you to fire like this, which you'll see in a lot of movies and probably video games, but the military teaches you to fire like that, just because it's a bit more of a secure thing, because you're holding it like this, this butt's got anywhere to go, you, your front of your weapon's going to swing around, so basically like I say, the military teaches you to fire like this, a little bit different with a, a SA-80 or L-85, because obviously it's bullpup and you don't have that grip there anyway, but the new um, grenade launchers have a grip anyway, so there's no need to hold on to a magazine. Obviously, reloading with the grenade launcher there is quite easy because it's not, you know, it's not in the way unless you're stupid enough to catch on there. But you know, get rid of that one. Ooh. Play a second one in there. It's not, you know, it's not that hard to do. So yeah, that's gonna conclude. It does add a little bit of weight actually to the front of the weapon, obviously. The weapon centre of gravity is all the way to the front now. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the Gel Blaster M203. Um, it's quite cheap. It feels quite, you know, quite tough, quite durable. But um, what I mean by cheap is it wasn't an expense. Um, it was from Wish for around £19. Don't know what that is in US dollars or any other currency, but it was around 19 British sterling pounds. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good accessory. Makes it look quite cool, in my opinion. Um, especially since this is painted black, so, you know, kind of looks quite real now. Uh, yeah, so that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching guys, that's the M203 Gel Blaster.